Hello, this is Cancel, and welcome back to more Gold of the Sun. We are in the Sea of Time Islet, cave, treasure place, and we're continually running to the end in order to get stuff and also fight a boss. But let's be honest, it's mostly for the stuff. Uh, okay, this time I'm gonna attack you with uh, with Felix, and Isaac is gonna one shot the worm because Megado. Because Megado. Yeah, I can't really argue with those results. They are pretty nice. How many rooms are there here? Uh, I mean, if I get Megado, then it'll just one shot you, but. Okay, I got Megado. Hard to complain about that! I mean, that is sort of the thing with the unleashes because he, because it's hard to predict when you'll get an unleash. I think that is actually one of the better things in Dark Dawn. They changed the way the unleashes work a little bit, so it's a little bit easier to tell when you'll get one. A little bit, little bit. No unleash that time. Although it's largely the same. Then again, they also made it so that there's potentially multiple unleashes, so... Hmm. Well, anyway, uh... You can probably finish that off, so all you guys gang up on him. I mean, yeah, of course you can with Megado, Felix. I meant you can probably finish it off without Megado. Seriously, guy, come on. And can we please be at the end of this place? I mean, Wonderbirds are nice and all, but... But not really very useful to me unless they start summoning each other. I mean, I say that, it's still worth more XP than a boss. So, <laughs> it's still fairly worthwhile. But also, kind of dangerous. Fortunately, that's what Megado is for. Making dangerous things a lot less dangerous. Okay, well, I definitely need to heal after that one. Uh, wish. 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 Okay, that's enough wishes. Is this... Are we there yet? No. Okay, next. Oh, two of them! There's two Wonderbirds! I can kill one and then the other one can revive it! Also, it occurs to me, this is actually really dangerous. Two Wonderbirds could potentially really screw up my day. Um, right, you're actually just gonna defend. You are gonna use Protect, you are gonna use Ward, you are going to use Wish. Because I want to give it one turn to revive its friend. I want to show off that you can actually do this thing I've been talking about. Yes! Like that! Perfect! Then I can kill the first one again! Oh, it ran away. Damn it! That does happen. It's admittedly, it's not a perfect system. But look at that experience. That's from killing two Wonderbirds. And a third there was a third one that ran away. I'm uh, I'm gonna hit 40 before I'm done in this place, probably. Oh, this hallway was a lot shorter. That's that's nice. And this is probably the place to come to if you want to grind experience. I'm not necessarily going to, but well, there you go. Oh yeah, we're at the end now. I'm gonna save my game. The only condition I for which I will be grind I will grind experience is if I am totally unable to beat uh, one boss in particular. I'm the guardian of wind. 
If you would claim my power, you must prove your worth. Well, okay then, Sentinel. So, the Sentinel's main gimmick is actually just that it has a lot of HP. It has a lot of HP, and it has substantial, but very overcomable, uh, HP regeneration. It's, it's not really that much of a threat to me. You know, I thought for sure there'd be some cursed equipment here, though. Hmm. Did- Oh, I totally forgot about that. How did I forget about that? It does actually sort of block some- I don't know if it blocks all synergy, but it does- You can't really hurt it much with synergy. I mean, I hit it with Thundermine, so obviously synergy- Wait, no, I didn't. I used high impact. Oh. Huh. Well then. Uh, yeah. Synergy doesn't- I wonder if Break will work. Okay, that's two turns in a row with no Mega though. You need to- you need to kick it up a notch there, Felix. Having said that, he is totally vulnerable to summons, so he's actually quite easy to summon rush. That said, I'm gonna try to kill him with pretty much just with Megado. Um... Oh. Okay, yeah, that- that hurts a bit. I mean, not just Megado, but mostly Megado. You're gonna use High Impact some more, you're gonna use Wish Well, and you're gonna attack. I mean, just with Felix, I do about it. With Felix doing a regular attack with no, with its defense double boosted, and my attack power not boosted at all, I deal about enough to overcome its HP regeneration. If I can actually hit it with a freaking Megado, then it'll be way better. Blue Bowl is kind of not even worth. Oh, that that hurt though. And it lowered my defense, maybe. I mean, I think high impact. Even if it does break it, high impact is still worthwhile, simply because it bosses will not use break if you do not boost your status, boost your attributes. So even. If, so it's always worthwhile to boost them, because even if you are, even if you do lose the boost right away, they're still going to waste a turn removing it instead of killing you. Hmm. I'm starting to think maybe I should have summon rushed this, just to save time. Because this is very, wow, that's a lot. This is very doable the way I'm doing it now. Like. I will most likely kill him before he kills me. But at the same time, this is probably going to be very time consuming. Uh, you use that, you are going to use Fly on her. Although every Megado I get is a significant help. It has, I want to say, eight or nine thousand HP. So, Megado cuts off one Megado, factoring in the HP, his HP. No, sorry. No, yeah, one Megado factoring his HP regen probably hits for around at one eighteenth of his life. And potentially I'm dealing more than that, so... Right, I'm gonna double wish to fill up. And then I'm gonna attack some more with Isaac. Probably. Hmm. It is, however, problematic when the only person attacking is Felix. I I don't think buffing with multiple characters would be worthwhile here because he is using break. Doing the one buff is definitely worthwhile, but two probably would not be. Uh okay, I actually just need to 
Do I have, like, I mean, a nut isn't gonna cut it. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna use Wishwell. Because I kinda wanna attack with Isaac. You know, don't use Wishwell, just use Wish. Isaac will just have to heal himself. Uh, Plywell. Okay. That's better. And I've been broken again. Hmm. If I could actually get attack off with Isaac, he, he's always going to benefit from that boost as well because Jen's faster than him. Uh, you're going to use Wish Well, you're going to attack. Of course, Isaac hits for a lot less damage, so. Oh, it's defense dropped. That's good. Okay, regular attacking is very good. I'd rather you didn't. I'd rather you spread it around more, but you know. Whatever. High impact some more. Wishing some more. Attacking some more. I'm certainly not in any danger of running out of. Uh, synergy anytime soon. Like, this is not the fight with the damn serpent. I know how much HP this guy has, and I'm probably dealing enough damage to kill him before I run out of uh, the ability to heal myself. Having said that, it would be really nice if I got more Megados, because those are far and away my biggest damage source. Uh, you know, I can actually kind of attack with Shiba, but I'm going to use Bush instead. It's probably more prudent. And this sort of playstyle is kind of... I mean, it would be better if I could use my offensive synergy, but this sort of playstyle is sort of what advanced classes are for. Summon rushing is really usually better suited to mono elemental classes for mostly uh, for what I feel are mostly pretty obvious reasons. It didn't break me, did it? Well, I'm not going to attack Jenna this round. Need to wish well, though. Uh, actually, I should probably double wish. Looking at those bars. Yes, Megado! Uh, okay, it did not break me. That's good! <laughs> and I'm all healed up, but it's probably gonna break me now. But this does seem like the timing for it. Okay, well I need to heal Felix. In it, any rate. It didn't break though, so that's really good. I attack both these guys, and both of you are on healing duty. Wish well, and fly well. Hmm. Okay, so I did around 400 damage that turn, so four or five. Okay, I didn't really look at the numbers very closely, I'll admit. I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna be generous to myself and call it five. That's effectively 300 damage. That is not really what I would hope for in how much I wanna do, how much damage I wanna do for, to him if I wanna end in a reasonable time frame. Uh, I need to sort of double wish again. Yeah, like that 200 is exactly enough to overcome his regeneration and do nothing else. That's not what I call ideal. Because that was a- I mean, I did heal myself and I did buff up, but in terms of dealing damage to him and actually ending the fight, that was a basically a waste of turn. And he's do doing that crap a lot, so it makes it harder to heal myself properly. <laughs> I can probably get away with attacking with Isaac, though. As long as he doesn't gang up on Jenna, I should be fine. I am, have not been keeping track of how much damage I've been dealing at all, so I have no idea how close I am to the end. <laughs> 
None at all. You know, what I probably should be doing is only buffing up once. I shouldn't really be double buffing while he's using Greg. And that will increase my damage output, so... Well, I'm gonna buff now because he just used Break, but... You're gonna use Wish, you're gonna use Wish. Every Megado is great because it takes a significant por uh, percentage of his life away. High impact probably adds 100 damage to Megado, and it makes non-Megado attacks more worthwhile as well. You know, I probably didn't need to do double w wish that time. Oh, and, well, he topped off his guard, but it was already topped off, so that's probably good. And I'm not, I'm gonna go ahead and stop double buffing now. So attack, attack, you still need to wish, and you can attack. And more Megado is always good. Oop, that's hot. Uh -huh. Not Megado, but my teeth. He said wind, right? So he's probably wind aligned. He probably is resistant to wind, which... I don't know why Supernova does such little damage. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I totally don't need to use Wish. Uh, did I speak too soon? I spoke too soon. Okay, yeah, that, that hurts. Attack, high impact, wish, and I'm gonna attack with Isaac. Felix can Felix is the one in the most danger here, and he should be fine one more round. Although he may require a fly next turn. But in the meantime, every turn I'm attacking with more people, it will end the battle sooner. Yeah, I really feel like he should be doing more damage with that. Okay then. Yeah, I probably should fly Felix this turn. High impact, wish well, and fly. Of course, if Megado just finished it off now, that would be really awesome as well. Huh? Huh? No, it was not meant to be. I've got to be getting close, though. And I'm super glad I did it this way, actually, because this does demonstrate why I will be changing around my party for other battles. First of all, this is probably the easiest of all... He said he was the Wind Guardian, that implies there's three other Guardians, right? And he's probably the easiest of the three, and the final boss of the game as well, for that matter. Of all the bosses I'm about to fight, he's probably the, this is probably the easiest one, is what I'm saying. And although I am, I can, I'm probably fine fighting him like this, it takes a long bloody time. Although he's the only one with the synergy blocking gimmick, admittedly, and it, were it not for that, I would probably be better off. This wouldn't be taking as stupidly long if I could actually use synergy on him. Having said that, what would take way less time would be if I was summon using a lot of summons on him, which I would be able to do if I had mono or if I only had a single type of Ginny on each character. But I'm not really built like that. Attack. Uh, I don't even know if he broke me, but I'm sort of assuming he did not. I'm almost out of synergy on Shiva, so if I have something to that I can restore that with, I probably should. Uh, not on Isaac, so attack. Although I guess I could just attack with Shiva and heal with Isaac. I mean, eventually I would fall behind if I did that, but frankly, Isaac's not hitting that hard anyway. Also, I'm pretty sure he did, in fact, break me. Yeah, like this turn, I probably want to double heal. And I'm not going to be able to do that next turn. Right now. Which is not really great. Wish well, and wish well.
I could just swap Shiba out for one of the back row people though. Usually I usually I literally never do that, but this might be one of those rare situations where it is a good idea. Like swap her out for Piers or Maya or basically anyone but Garrett actually. Someone with Wish. I don't really like doing that though, it's the thing. But, hey, she doesn't have any synergy left. She'll get over it. Uh, let's use Ivan. Attack, and attack, and... I mean... Resist might be- well, no. I don't really need to use Wish at this turn, actually. I need to use Ply on Isaac, but I don't need to use Wish. Of course, this way, uh, Shiva won't get full experience either, but you know, one battle in the place with the freaking Wonder Birds, I'm not really worried about that. Oh, there goes the break. Uh, Isaac doesn't need to do any healing. Yeah, yeah, Jenna should be fine. Isaac doesn't need to do any healing, so I can attack with him. You're using high impact, you're using wish well, you're attacking. Seriously though, I've got to be getting close to finishing it off by now. Oh yeah, there he goes. That is a lot of experience, but less than two Wonderbirds. So, it's not really a big deal. The experience distribution. Shiba leveled up anyway, even! And for that matter, Isaac's already a few levels lower, so I do need to uh, actually adjust my party now. This part's a little bit annoying, but ultimately pretty minor. Uh, let's, let's, uh, do that. And for our trouble, we got... Catastrophe, which is awesome. That's the other reason I need to do, do more change around with it. I need to show off all these awesome summons I'm getting. I'm not going to get the chance to show them all off later on. So, hmm. Anyway, uh, that that took a long time. So I'm going to stop off here. Join me next time when we try to tackle the next guardian, or at least his dungeon. Or at least we try to get into it. It's complicated, you'll see when we get there. In any case, until then, this has been Let's Play Golden Sun, The Lost Age with Chaos Blue, and have a- wait, wait a second. And, and have a good day! Bye!